Hey guys, got a couple minutes, so figured the least I could do is make a short little video update y'all. <coughs> For all you curious fellas, what all happened here? Pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. This side's nice and whole. There you have it. Um, so this truck was involved in a jackknife. Most importantly, a driver walked away. But I just wanted to talk real quick what's all going down here. Uh, I know a lot of your regulars have been messaging me and asking me how am I doing and how are things going. Guys, to say that I've been slammed would be an understatement. <laughs> I'm surviving, but things are getting better. Uh, I guess some people took uh, good help. It's hard to find literal form. They started hiding. <laughs> That's a joke, but yeah, I had to move some stuff around in the company and get more good help. And we're successful at that. Thank God of that for that. But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is this vehicle right here. So, driver was driving in town on the highway. Everything was good. There was a high, high wind tunnel kind of area. Well, it's not a wind tunnel. It's it's more of a valley. So the it created the draft. So it froze over the freeway. It wasn't on a bridge or anything. It's just the way the landscape worked. It was just worked as a draft froze over the freeway and jackknife my guy um if this was a rookie you know i'd have a lot of questions for him but considering the fact that this is a seasoned driver cdl driver been a trucker for years i'll just let it go and thank god nothing really happened there um and i don't mean like oh i could have done better by this thing i'll let it go i'm just happy my driver's all right um it's the driver's a uh, close and dear person to me so i was very happy to hear that he walked away from it um but yeah so what all are we planning on doing dealing with insurance right now i'll most likely i'll yank the cab um for all you curious guys how bad is it pretty much got oh shoot it's pretty dark in there pretty much i got it all the way to the frame rail sorry guys i wish i've done a video tour uh, you know business when there's daylight out there the unit has about two hundred thousand on it other than that you know it's whole so what i'm thinking of just yanking the cab off of it the bed and uh yeah not i'm not in the body shop business to to pull and cut and weld in or section in uh sections of the cab because some of you guys know i own i've restored a silver truck and um, i have that section but i'm not going to cut and do stuff so i'll just give me a new cab specifically white if you have one please shoot it to me in the email i'll leave it in the description i'll be more than happy to come pick it up from you as you can tell i don't need the front door i need the rear door and the whole cab that's what i want to do specifically white you know fifth gen yes i could put a fourth gen but i gotta cut, uh, cut the a uh, ars or no what are they called aprons i don't want to do that i want specific fifth gen i don't want to mess with aprons just want to swap it <coughs> and go on i'm working with as i said i'm working with insurance right now we're looking at buying it back uh that's pretty much the step that we're at we want to see how much they want i don't think it's going to cost me much but we'll see least i could do is part it out but i'm thinking i might restore it so as far as i could tell the frame hasn't been damaged well, at least that's what i'm hoping for obviously we're gonna to have to put it on a rack measure it. and if that's true then we'll do what i want to do if not then we'll just part it out this thing has two hundred thousand on it it's a wonderful truck never let me down um this is like whoa hold on a sec no this is my problem child this was my problem child with the cp4 yeah and the emissions so once we took care of the cp4 and took care of the emissions you know fixed that problem and never had an issue with it, it just had a lingering issue with it. i think the egr cooler or something like that kept throwing insufficient flow or something dumb like that never never got to the bottom the dealers never got to the bottom of it, so we just took matters in our own own hands and fixed that so yeah other than that it has a cp3 and it's been running non-stop very well a lot of you guys are going to ask am i going to do the reimbursement or because i've had a lot of phone calls are you going to swap out your cp4s i'm like i have no cp4s all my cp4s are cp3s now so we'll see what the what chrysler for, does for reimbursement but yeah i've converted all my trucks all my 14s and or my 19s and 20 got cp4s this is a 19 by the way and i wish i could go inside i don't know if there's a lot i could show you this is more of a talking video than actually showing you around well, there you have it 
And that guy's had it locked up. Good, good for the guys, keeping things locked down. But it's an icing if you're not a regular on my channel. I only run icings with Cummins in them. 373 on the rear ends and 200,000 on it. It's been a phenomenal truck besides that little hiccup, and that's it. All right, boys, as always, may the Lord bless you. May all mighty fine day and pray for me. As soon as I free up, there's a lot of projects around here we could uh, do a bunch of videos of. I mean, we've bought, I think, another three or four trucks, or have gotten three, four more trucks, probably five, six more trailers. So there's a lot of a lot of videos I can share with you guys, but as long as I could have that minute. So that's all that matters. Alrighty, boys, as always, have a good one. God bless you. Bye.